Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This tutorial presents the brand new spotting controls in the scoring edition of SmartSound Sonic Fire Pro 5. Spotting is the ability to automatically fit music cues to match your video. It's an easy way to get your music to match your pictures, and it's new with version 5. I've got our video loaded down here, and I want to put some music to match the sections. We've got the animation at the top, the couple talking, the surfboarding, and the logo at the end. So I've got a marker that marks the beginning of our video. Let's move forward until we see the couple. And let's put a marker right in the middle of the dissolve. I'm using our left and right arrow keys to quickly move right about there. Let's put a marker by clicking the Add Marker button. Let's find the spot where they finish talking and they go to the surfboarding. Again, the left and the right arrow keys to move to that first frame of the surfing. And we'll add another marker. Then we've got this wonderful still frame where he seems to hang forever in the air. Let's find the start of that still frame. Now again, using the left and right arrow keys to find where the still frame starts. Right there. And we'll add another marker. Then we'll find the spot where the logo comes back again, right there, and add another marker. Down in this window, and I'll make it bigger so you can see what's going on, we have two tabs. We've got the bin tab and the spotting tab. When you click on the spotting tab, notice that the markers that we've set are automatically listed. In fact, we can give each marker a name by double-clicking it. And we'll do the couple talking, and then we'll do surfing video, and then we'll do still frame, and we'll do the logo. And I'm double clicking to open up the text edit window. And the video start and the video end are already given names. By holding the shift key down, I'm going to select the entire range of markers. And when I do that, notice that it automatically suggests a tempo that will match these markers. The tempos are ranked with the one that matches it the best on top with the longest bar, and the rest of them fall in descending order. Well, 145 beats a minute is a really dynamic, fast-paced beat. So let's just double-click on this bar. I could select it and click Express Track, but it's even faster to just double-click on the green bar. It opens up the Express Track window, and it has a variety of different clips. Notice that the beat that it suggests is 145 beats a minute. And right here, the closest we've got are these two at 146. Stolen Youth is, sounds good. But Wild Chase sounds a whole lot better. There's an energy and an edginess to it that works really well. Well, I've got a variety of different versions. Notice that it's automatically filled in the length of our video, and I've got a variety of variations. And one that works really well for this is Obstacle. I know that because I checked it out ahead of time. So I play it. Nice, solid beat. So let's take a listen, and just to prove what is going on here, let's change the mood from full, which means all instruments, to just the low drums, so you can actually hear the percussion go through and click Insert, and we'll close Express Track, and we'll pull this window back down here. We'll hit the Return key to rewind to the beginning, and what we'll do is listen to how the beats in the drums correspond to the markers that we've set here. You ready? Here we go. trials where local competitors who dedicate their lives to riding pipeline battle for the chance to compete with the world's best. You see how the main drum beats corresponded to the main beats inside our video. And yet we didn't have to know anything about beats or music. We just simply laid our markers in and it automatically fit it out. We could make this sound better by clicking on this variation and switching the mood here in the properties menu from low drums back to full. It doesn't change the tempo. It just gives us more instruments. I'll just play the beginning of this so you can hear how it, how it works. Started by checking out 
see how we've got that, that percussive pounding that just matches perfectly against our video. This is when we use this new spotting feature for the entire video. But there's something else that we can do. I'm going to delete this music and put our playhead back to the beginning and using the arrow keys find the exact start to the video so I've got it right on the first frame and go back to the spotting tab making this bigger so we can see what's going on. Notice these up and down arrows here. What I do is I click on this arrow and I say I want the music to end here. A marker means a beat will hit on the music. Music in and music out means it will use this as the duration of a piece of music. And notice that we've got a variety of options. Tempos below 100 tend to be leisurely and languid, and when they get really slow, they start to approach funereal. Tempos above 100 tend to have more energy. Because I want to keep the energy, I'm going to select a faster tempo. And again, double-click on the bar. And All right, we'll work with that one, and we'll just keep this nice and hot. We'll click Insert, go back to our, our track here, and let's just hit the Rewind button, the Return key, and switch over so we can see our video and play it. Let's get it all started by... A nice hot open to keep things really energetic, leading right into the start of our talent talking. Well, let's go back to our, our selection here, and let's say that I want to have our music start when the surfing starts, and I want to have it end at the logo. Select the range of markers that you want to have the music cover. Notice that it's automatically selected the tempos that best match. 67 is a little bit too slow. 167, is, you know, I'd hate to be the drummer on that one. Let's try 134. That's got a nice sound to it. Let's click insert. Let's click back over to here and notice that it's now been added. Let's take a look at the whole piece. Again, we haven't mixed it. Our talent audio is going to be a little bit on the low side, but you'll get a sense of how it all works. Let's get it all started by checking out the trials where local competitors who dedicate their lives to writing pipeline battle for the chance to compete with the world's best. And did you notice how right here at this still frame, we've got a nice beat and a nice chord that was put in because, because that was what we asked it to do with that marker. We said we want it to start here, make sure we've got a strong beat that occurs at that moment, and that it ends by the, the ending logo. This is a brand new feature inside the scoring edition of Sonic Fire Pro 5. It gives you a, a faster, more accurate, and more flexible way to set your music. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.